Harris. Today we are the Louis Vuitton Foundation for the LVMH Prize Finale. La vidéo est en anglais et en français, les sous-titres sont disponibles. The jury is made of LVMH designers, plus Delphine Arnaud, plus Bernard Arnaud, the big boss of the LVMH luxury group. No pressure. Lena Mafouf is with us and she discovers the LVMH prize etiquette. J'ai l'impression que je passe mon oral d'anglais. Maria Grazia Curi from de 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 Dior. Nicolas Gesquier from Louis Vuitton. Nigo from Kenzo. Sylvia Venturini Fendi from Fendi. Kim Jones from Fendi and de 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 Dior. Jonathan Anderson from Louis V. Morning. Salut. Jean-Paul Clavry and Cine Toledano from LVMH. Stella McCartney with her unique energy. Stella, how do you copyright intellectual property? Oh, you just don't give it away, ever. <laughs> ever. There you go. IP is critical. My history as a child of a beetle can tell you that. <laughs> Kate Blanchett and Aileen Gu give the prizes. Of course, the finalists are the designers you need to watch, the future giants of fashion. Hello, I'm Luc Prigent. Subscribe to my channel for an all-access pass to fashion. Hit the notification bell and leave a comment. And of course, you should binge all my other fashion videos. The LVMH Prize finalists came from all over the world to present to the jury. Hello guys! Oh my oh, god! Oh my god, hi! Hi! Hi, I'm Roy. Uh, my nice name is Lionel Nice to meet you, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Je suis très heureux d'être là et je me sens très bien. I'm grateful to be here. I think that's the, the best adjective to basically use. To represent their brand, they have a rack of clothing and two models. Qu'est-ce que vous voulez que je ressente avec votre mode? L'idée, c'est vraiment que vous soyez content. Que ça réjouisse les gens. C'est réussi. The finalists are Ashlyn by Ashlyn Park from South Korea, IRL by Eli Russell Linnet, United States, KNWLS by Charlotte Knowles and Alexandre Arsenault, United Kingdom and Canada, Rosin Pierce by Rosin Pierce, Ireland. Ryunosuke Okazaki by Ryunosuke Okazaki, Japan. SS Daily by Steven Stocky Daily, United Kingdom. Tokyo James by Inye Tokyo James, Nigeria. And Winnie New York by Idris Balogum, United States. How are you selecting what you're showing? I'm putting them out and having a look at what maybe has the most contrast, if you can believe it or not, <laughs> with all this white. <laughs> what are the points for contrast? The um, techniques? Yeah, the construction and the techniques. So different types of patchwork, different types of smoking, the silhouettes. But this one actually was made in 2019. And the whole idea was that it was like this pod and opened in three ways. Oh. Why did you get the idea? Um, from nature, I guess. It comes to what the brand kind of stands for. We, we, we are about commonality, intersectionality. We are about me and you together. We do it in Lagos, and it's amazing what those tailors can do. <laughs> A similarity for the finalists, they started to build their brand during the COVID-19 first outbreak, during lockdowns and production halts. You launched during COVID? Yeah, we launched during COVID. Uh, how crazy are you? I know, I know. How crazy are all of us, you know? During the pandemic, I talk with uh, my kids a lot and then explore about their, their dream. And then one day they ask me one question like, Mommy, what is your dream? <laughs> and then after the question, the entire perspective changes. I feel like when they grow up, they will realize their dream. And then I will do everything I can do to help make their dream happen. So I made it my mission to become an example for my girls. I started the business during 2020, mid lockdown. Oh. Yeah. What and happened? I, like one morning you woke up and you said. No, I graduated in the pandemic. So I had my final class for my, for my degree on Zoom. I was sat there and I was like, God, this is so depressing. So I just started like making things, selling things, and it just sort of built up from there. There's two of us that do everything really. But we also have like this amazing relationship with like some amazing people that we work with that make the brand possible, like Harry Styles. And he's great because he comes back and he puts personal orders in and buys more and more and more. Just last week he wore a version of this cardigan and it was in like a brown and yellow colorway. 
and this is next season. So we put like a pre-order up and it sold out within like four hours, which is crazy. Who are you the most shy for? Most shy jury? for, oh God, it's a hard one. Maybe Stella in a weird way. No way. Because, just... because Liverpool, Liverpool, it's kind of like that connection there. Qui vous intimide dans le jury qui sera là demain? Quoi? Dans le monde quoi quoi? Non, il est. J'ai vraiment très envie de parler avec Jonathan Anderson. D'accord. The jury meets the designers in an informal way. Nice to see you again. These are like vintage materials. Oh, so we try to mix them. Oh, you mix too. Actually. Very well done. Thank Congratulations. You so Thank you so much. Oh, oh, hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Roshi. And uh, where you did it? In Dublin? Oh, Ireland. Ireland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all in-house. It's very well done. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I really appreciate uh, in, um, this prize that, that all the designer they also under pandemic price they try to found a brand they try to produce uh, their collection and they try also to make the brand in a different point of view they try to produce local so i think is a, a new point of view for the future you know i think it's going to be harder to make a decision on it they're just very strong know exactly what they want so it's going to be this is what's hard Hi there. Hi. Hi. Nice I'm to meet you. Stephen, nice to meet you. Yeah, I know. There's lots of Brits in the, in the room. I know. Let me smell you. <laughs> he smells great. <laughs> this is great. I love your print. Thank Did you, you so design much. your print yourself? Yeah. It's cute. Yeah. Do you like birds? Yeah, it's kind of... Very British. I've been looking at your stuff. You couldn't be more British, could you? Well, yeah. It's kind of a mix of a, a few seasons I've done. Right. So... This is like spring, this is winter. So you definitely make clothes that people can wear. Yeah, it's quite important for us yeah. to do that. So how many can you do when you make these? They're all one off. Yeah, so yeah. generally we only have them for like our direct to consumer. Mm -hmm. And we do like monthly drops of like 20 to 30. You must be so hot. The hat, the edit added hat situation. <laughs> I know, I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel? Yeah, it goes. It's nice, everyone's super nice. It's nice that we can like break the ice now before yeah, yeah. the rest of it. I think this just allows everyone to like. Uh, oh How are your fingers? <gasps> shaky, but I'm always shaky. To be fair, okay. I'm always like a shaky person. <laughs> On the table, you can guess by the bags which designer is sitting where. A jar booked out for Maria Curie. A Fendi bag must be for Sylvia Venturini Fendi. J'adore la créativité. J'aime soutenir les jeunes. J'ai une petite expérience, donc je pense que je peux aider. Qu'est-ce qui vous a surpris pour l'instant Qu'est-ce que vous remarquez Des points de vue très très personnels, des histoires personnelles qui ressortent. Il y a beaucoup d'âmes, mais il faut être très fort aussi. C'est un joli mix. Time for the official presentation. Backstage, the tension is high. When are you going uh, there? I'm going last. <gasps> yeah, yeah. That's good in a way, no? I mean, it's good. Uh, there's benefits and not benefits. <laughs> Try not to think about it too much. It's time for Steven Stokey Daily to officially introduce his brand, SS Daily. It's been a really interesting, crazy, fast over me. It's kind of taking that idea of British heritage and infusing it with my own influences, turning it on its head, subverting it to you know, today's world. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm very pleased there's a lot more sustainability and it seems like it's actually in there rather than getting talked about. It feels like a lot of them have really brought that into their work that in a way that's natural and not sort of part of the design. There's also a lot of emotion because for them, they see the creators they admire since they're young and I think it's also a very emotional moment for them and a little bit stressful too because it's true. I think you're intimidating. <rire> voilà, intimidant, on va dire. Voilà. Ils ont quand même euh, compris sur, au niveau du business. Et, ils comprennent, ils ont des, des points de vue extrêmement déterminés. 
L'exécution, quand ils viennent avec des collections, franchement, c'est étonnant. After the finalist presentation, the jury relaxes. Small talk on the Mount Olympus of fashion. You did a great, great job, honestly. Between you and me, in Balenciaga, for me. I have all the your clothes. I know, I know. Completely in love. <laughs> I have also a lot of pieces of uh, your collection, uh, first collection in Vuitton. Oh, a yeah. lot. Mm -hmm. wow. The top, the shirt, what I got, mm -hmm. uh, the pants, a lot. And I do you keep every, do you keep the clothes? In my, uh, in my archive, uh, one oh, piece I bought for someone, for own. Raquel. And someone I, uh, for me. Okay. Bernard Arnault arrives and meets all the finalists. He's introduced by his daughter Delphine Arnault. Ready yeah. at the semi-final? Yes. Pleasure yeah. to meet you. Right. You work in New York? We work in New York. Where do you produce? In Nottingham in England. Spectacular dresses. It's brand new ERL, ERL yep. and you just did a collaboration with Dior. On Venice Beach. Okay. I born in South Korea yeah. and started my career in Japan at Yo Yamamoto. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Then the designers all go on the rooftop for a picture with Kate Blanchett and Bernard Arnault. The photographer is Jean-Baptiste Mondino. Je peux vous demander pourquoi c'est important pour vous de faire le LVMH Prize C'est important parce que ça permet de choisir des jeunes, de les aider, de développer leur carrière, de créer des liens, c'est formidable. Qu'est-ce que LVMH peut apporter en mentorat à ces jeunes Il leur donne une expérience unique parce qu'ils travaillent avec plus grands créateurs du moment et donc pour eux c'est un aller-retour formateur, ça leur permet de commencer leur carrière. I'm, <rire> par, I'm, exemple, I'm photo par exemple avec, 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 avec Stella, hein? ils commencent avec Stella, c'est génial. Génial, mais oui. This is the room where the deliberation will happen. Et attention, tu sais les petites cartes qu'on met sur les mariages pour savoir qui est assis à côté de qui tu veux que tout le monde qui est assis à côté de qui Vas-y. Hein. Alors, Jonathan en personne, Delphine Arnaud, Nicolas Gasquière, Bernard Arnaud, Maria Grazia Curie, de chez Kiro, Sidney Tolémano, Sylvia Venturine Pendy, Jean-Paul Clavery, Kim Jones, Stella McCartney, <rire> Nigo et. Toby Feltwell. Qui est l'interprète de Nigo et son collaborateur. Toby Feltwell. C'est donc presque tous les designers du groupe LVMH qui vont se réunir ici pour déjeuner, mais surtout pour choisir les gagnants et euh, peut-être qu'ils vont se battre, peut-être qu'ils vont être tous d'accord, peut-être qu'ils vont se jeter des verres en disant « Non, c'est lui qui doit gagner !» Ou peut-être que c'est le fruit de mon imagination qui a regardé beaucoup trop de films dramatiques et ils vont peut-être être tous d'accord. Et puis voilà les fleurs. Non mais, la taille des mamans à côté du vase quoi. Non mais... <rire> C'est cool. J'aimerais être une petite souris pendant le déjeuner pour savoir ce qu'ils se disent. Ça va être comment la délibération à votre avis ah, j'ai aucune idée. Il y a des combats que... des fois ou euh... Ouais, ouais, c'est arrivé. Pas des... C'est pas des combats, ce sont des discussions. Euh, je crois que chacun a un point de vue. Mais là, ils ont tous beaucoup de, de charme et de. C'était assez frappant sur cette C'est la manière aussi dont ils expliquent leur vision. Donc, euh, je crois que ça va compter. On verra. On verra. Mais ça va, ça va bien se passer. What's it like in that room? In that room? Yeah, when you're all making your choice. It's great fun. Everyone gets naked. <laughs> we all get. First thing we do is we strip down. And then there's a little like mud pit in the back. So we mud wrestle. And then we mud wrestle for about five minutes, and then we shower down, and then we come back out. And the winner of the mud wrestle, I Whoever assume, decides. Whoever wins the mud wrestle decides. can choose the winner. Exactly. Got it. Got it. Got it. Exactly. Well, this, is, this is great to know. I've I didn't win last year. Kim won last year, but I'm going to take him down. <laughs> now it's time for the judges' critique, but it will be confidential. Bonjour. Bernard Arnault sits among the LVMH designers and the deliberation stars. This is the fashion power lunch of the year. It's time for the winner's names to be announced. First, the Karl Lagerfeld Prize with Sky Olympic champion Eileen Gu. The Carla Gaffel Prize is an homage to the designer who used to always be on the jury. The winners of this year's Carl Lagerfeld Prize are ERL Earl, 
Oscar Garfel Prize is 150,000 euros and one year of LVMH mentorship. Thank you guys so much. Um, thank you to LVMH, um, Delphine, um, the Arnaud family, all the judges, my family, and Rennie. Thank you guys. Judges, um, I want to thank my mom, I want to thank my brothers in the back, thank you all. The Oscar winner Kate Blanchett announces the LVMH Prize winner for 2022. The 2022 LVMH Prize for Young Fashion Design goes to S.S. Daly. <laughs> Um, this is like an Oscar, actually. Okay, so thanks so much. <laughs> um, I actually genuinely didn't expect uh, to win, so I just want to say thank you to everyone who supported me. Sarah Moa, wherever you are, Harry Lambert, uh, my family, my grandmother, my mother, uh, my boyfriend Leo, who works with me, he has no choice. <laughs> and thank you so much to the LUMH Prize and all the amazing judges and lovely. Thank you so much. I'm the LVMH Prize is worth 300,000 euros, a one-year mentorship by LVMH executives and a gold star on your resume. How do you feel? How do I feel? Um, genuinely didn't, I did not expect at all, so yeah, I was very overwhelmed. It's very overwhelming. But you looked surprised. Happy. Yeah, I was very surprised. I didn't think. But I'm very happy, obviously. I'm very happy. What will you ask the LVMH mentors first? To be honest, that's the main thing, is I'm really excited to like sit down and go through my business plan with them, and they can really help with growth management, so, yeah. And at 23 years old, that's, that was astonishing. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Isn't that crazy with how, I mean, to be here now, I know. just nearly two years-ish. Two years. From that point, it's uh, scary. Voilà, this was my report about the 2022 LVMH Prize. Do subscribe to my channel to not miss a bit of the Fashion Pulse. Yes, it's a video equivalent of LVMH mentorship. If you watch till the end, please leave a comment saying Adopt me, Stella McCartney. She will pick the best comment and adopt them. And of course, you can watch my other LVMH Prize video with Mark Jacobs and Virgil Abloh. Love it. Thank you.